Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people. It's your boy, Medusa, coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And we are going to be doing a bunch of side quests again. We'll see how long that's going to take. 2,000 years. We get to finish the game. I don't know if this is... At this point, I don't know if this, like, the origin place like this is going to be the actual end. Because I don't know... I don't know nothing anymore. So I, I'm going to just go grab all of the side quests that is everywhere and I, I don't know just do side quests uh, Clive. where there's a will I'm sure what's wrong and don't say nothing uh, it's not nothing I've received word from Cyril the undying have found father's will or something akin to it his will how and where in the crypt beneath rosalith castle after kupka was kind enough to drive out the imperials the undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the duchy yet remained and in the process of doing so they found a letter from father i'm surprised anything survived down there cyril asked that i join him in Tabor at my convenience I have been meaning to go, but would you join me? Yes! Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. Yeah. Alright, let's grab the other ones. Three's company. Live, my boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't intended for you to get involved, but such are the times we live in, huh? I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. But in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes. But such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the High Commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. I thought he was retired. He was, until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it... I've already spoken with him on the matter. Okay. Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle. And he has certain qualms about clasping arms with, well, with an outlaw. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course, but the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. You don't mind, do you, my boy? 
Yep. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Okay. Of yeah. course not. Yep. Yeah. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, Uncle. No. Thank you, Clive. Three's company. Oh yeah. I can't really complain about all of this because I've been wishing for more. I didn't want the game to end yet. Uh, I want more of this game. And guess what? I'm, I'm actually getting more. So, you know. Uh, in search of a lost tome. Reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial to your cause. There exists ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime. And it was a chance encounter with one such tome from a distance. That spark within me the scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text. Should you require further incentive, know that I'm willing to offer compensation or services rendered. Yes, I will. I will heed Vivian's request. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Big old boss fight? An inconvenient truth. But how inconvenient is it, really? In a mood! In case you haven't noticed, your poor house spends all his time of late on the rear deck whimpering like Gav in his cups. Something ain't right, and my gut tells me it's not to do with his supply of antelope bones. Karen. Oh, another one for uh, Torgal. Nice. What is it this time, Torgal? The, the boy is bored. Come on. All right, what else? All right, so let's go that way. Yes. White. Oh, right, Terrigal, what's up? Hiding for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? <laughs> Wendy's stuck in the well? I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Said, that's why. On the day I brought him home. That long ago. And you're only thinking to ask this now? <sighs> Said saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Toggle. Sorry for making you wait so long. Let's get that thing off you. Don't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? <coughs> you want me to go with you somewhere? <coughs> Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye. Good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on now. <laughs> oh, Karen. Oh, she has grown on me. Where to then, Toggle? Oh! 
Oh yeah! All the next gen ninjaneers. Sid, you have to help us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. But that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Mid at all. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. <laughs> That's what I said. In the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Mididol's invention. <laughs> oh, these fuckers! To her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's gonna put Miss Mididol back together? She seems really sad. Oh, yeah, okay. Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that, for us. She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. Oh, thank God, all right? Oh. God damn it. All right, what's happening, Mid? Mid, if you have a... to the skies nothing will to the skies you aren't trying to give the enterprise wings are you what else would i be doing the children seem to think you're avoiding them they're worried about you is this really so important that you need to shut yourself away from everyone the enterprise is already the fastest ship in the realm and that's with the sea beneath her but what if she weren't bound to the waves what if she weren't bound to anything at all it's not fair, the gods get the skies all to themselves, so I'm gonna do something about it. The Fallen had their chance, but they relied too much on magic. And see where that got them, but not me. I've discovered how to do it without. Well, almost. First I need to make a prototype. And is that a one woman job? Are you volunteering? I'll have you know the Enterprise is my baby. But if her godfather's offering to lend a hand, I'd be happy to take it. <laughs> First, I'll need oil, and not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. Refined stuff, like they make in Ordil. Then I'll need some bone, or shell. Light, strong, preferably no longer attached to the beast it belongs to. If it's beast bones you're after, I'm sure the curse breakers will know where you might find some. No, they'll know where you might find some. You're the one who offered to help, remember? <laughs> Come on, Mid. I should speak with one of the curse breakers before I set off for Old Hill. See if I can't find this bone while I'm there as well. I will not let them be forgotten. Sid, may I have a moment? Certainly. It is an honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with the curse breakers for some time now. And uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. Or rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone. And few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names. 
but they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded, every death logged with meticulous care. Sid, allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. Yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll go. Good friend, Herman. Yeah, we'll... the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please, even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. Yeah. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. The De Grace. Hidden in a forest, overlooking the plains. All right. I'll see what I can find there. May the mothers guide you. Is that the church I was earlier where the Odin thingy magic is? <laughs> Litany of Errors. Okay. Something, something. Uh, we got a whole bunch of quests here. Oh my god, we got a bunch of quests everywhere. All right, Sid. Come to buy us a round, have you? Only if you earn it. Mid needs a piece of light but durable bone for her next project. You've encountered your share of beasts on your travels across the realm. Any ideas? Most bones are the same. Whack them hard enough and they'll break. If it's durability you're looking for, shell will serve you better. You know what an adamantus is? Oh yeah. I do. And I know to give them a wide berth. Will any old adamantus do? Well, with shells, the older the harder. There's a rumor of an ancient adamantus down in Carava, near Old Bidza, or what's left of the village anyway. But don't expect to make quick work of the bastard. There's a reason it's lived as long as it has. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh. Hey, Vivian. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Yep. Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. Okay. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. That's all good. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Yeah. Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting? We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. Yep. So you happy to oversee the boys' test then? Sure. Yep. One can never have too many scouts. Nope. Truer words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Y'all. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere close. Hey, Doris. 
Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter. We should have killed her. Something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her. Bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. Um we're needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the narrow. Does that mean I'm making an exception, but we travel together. And we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit walls, just beyond the portcullis. Oh, we that... should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. Is that where we Let's were? Die, Doris. With a big circle entrance that um, was like inaccessible. Was locked. I think so, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Hello, good sir. Mm, yes, quite. I'll speak to you after. But first, we must speak with Oh Harpocatrice. I'm back. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Hippocrates, there's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. <sighs> You've been talking to Vivian. Right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did naught to dissuade her. Clive, if the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Coveters of secrets. Okay. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized be it books, inventions, or people, before disappearing again, leaving nary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Let's find out. Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. Then my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? <laughs> Could you imagine? Not from thin air, no. 
from ash. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes, upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark, and no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Yeah, I was gonna say, could you imagine? You know, I was like, oh, what do you think? Expect I'm gonna pull out from thin air and be like the first place we look, the first book we grab. Like right behind here. Ugh, that's right. No, okay, I was wrong. My bad. All right, Torgal, you're the the last one here. All right, Torgal, where are you taking me? Okay, okay, yeah. I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. Do you have a better hint for me? Unless you've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rookery? I haven't been to the island in almost 20 years. The port is older then. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. Okay, okay, Dad. All right, so I think I just grabbed all of the quests here, right? Right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. The only thing is um, a whole bunch of quests at different locations, too, that we can grab. So we got the, all the docks and we got like, the port assault there. And, like, I don't, I'm not really sure. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, right? So I'm I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did before and then just go in a line or something. So let's start with Port Isolde. So why not, right? Oh. So what I'm gonna do actually. Oh. From here, can I more than words. Oh, I can't. It would have been it would have been cool if we can. Oh, there. Oh, I have multiple. I have two quests here. Okay. So, oh yeah, the old old docks. They're, they're they're connected. Yeah, it would be cool if I could just click on this right and um, set it up. Like pr prior to rise it from there, right? Easily. All right. All right, let's go, boy. We're going on an adventure. It's still here. After all these years. Not smaller than I remember. You kind of grew, bro. You might have to swim, boy. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. You two go on without me. I doubt that boat will hold a third. If you're sure, we won't be long. Oh, Josh was following us. Oh, okay, phew. Woo! They got worried there. I was like, getting gonna crash something? No, just taking some time. Just taking some time to load. Come on. Race you there? I bet I could still beat you. Oh, this is. 
Oh, with a song, and he's just like there with his friend. And it's a tree house. Oh. Here we are. This was our hideaway. Wasn't it, Toggle? Coming here helped me to forget who I was, or wasn't. Prince, Shield, son his mother could love. Had I been any one of those things? Perhaps. What is it, boy? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Did... You bring these here? My sparring sword. Well, well. You never stopped looking for me, did you, boy? <laughs> Thank you, Toggle. For never giving up. For never forgetting. Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. Wall of Remembrance? Yeah. Wow. This was touching. That's not the way back to the boat, Toggle. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I know where we're going. People always talk about the importance of putting the past behind you. But without it, we wouldn't be who we are today. True words. And we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow. Come on, Toggle. Let's go home. Yep. Kalei's old spearing sword, salvaged by a faithful friend in the aftermath of the Iron Blood invasion, 18 winters past. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Rodney Murdoch. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, increases Torgal's attack potency. Man. All of these side quests. 
Oh. Sorry for the wait. We're ready. Yeah. This game knows how to touch your heart. Holy fucking shit. Whoa. It's a well. After what happened here, it's a miracle there was any left at all. Is there more? Oh, yeah. It's probably going to be several of these, right? This should be enough. Okay, cool. All right, well then, let's move on to the next place. I'm gonna keep going in circles. On the line, you know. I'm just gonna try to get these done as quickly as I can, but... Why the hell would Victor... Oh, is there two? There's two quests here. No, there's three, yeah. Yeah, but these are all part of the quest that I have already have. And they have... The merchants has new stuff. Okay. Bearers. Yeah, dude is. Oh wait, you're still here. Here to help me pack. Oh. Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. I'm almost finished already, in fact. Hmm. You're really going to go through with this, then? I hope not. I am. But before I go, there is one small issue I'd like your assistance with. Well, two, in fact. If it's within my power to help you, I will. It's the children. Oh, yeah. I refuse to let them share in my disgrace. And if I leave them here, they surely will. Our friendship would see them ostracized forever. But I can't take them with me either. I can think of only one place where they are certain to be safe and provided for and loved. The hideaway. Yeah. Y yeah. Of course. The children would be more than welcome. Thank you, Clive. I will not forget this. Lubor, are you still here? What is it, Ferda? You look pale. There's been a flood in the Velcroy, a damn big one. Oh shit. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged in ether. What? Every last one of the bastards has turned, and they're headed this way. We got this. Bandits are one thing, but Akashic bandits are quite another. The town guard won't stand a chance against them. We need to evacuate. There's no time to lose. Further, gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. We must make ready to cover the townspeople's escape. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, my lord. Clive, change of plan. The children stay with me for now. I need you to find Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate evacuation. Understood. Or how about I just kill all of them? I'll do what I can to convince everyone else. Wish me luck. Yeah, I'm gonna prior to... Um, we're doing this right now. I'm gonna prior to Mirage. You have to listen to me. They're coming. You need to Why do they always have to make such a... Huh? Ah, it's you. Yes, it's me! What do you want, Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the Velcroy. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now, and they could be here at any moment. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? And who was it who gave you this disturbing news, might I ask? Lubor, perhaps? The man spread. Oh, you fucking stupid ass pieces, pieces of shit. You may believe his lies, my lord, but we know better. But why would he lie about something like this? Some twisted attempt at revenge, perhaps. Oh, you guys are fucking mask, morons. He may well have been elected our leader. A great honor for one of his kind. One he might well <sighs> feel aggrieved at having been denied. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has become all too evident where your sympathies lie. 
Lubor cannot be trusted, and neither, therefore, can you. You may not trust me, but for the sake of your people, ask yourselves if there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be certain of that. All right, Lubor. Now be off with you. New plane. We grab the children. We grab the people who are symp sympathetic oh, at you. Mistake. We grab you. We go to the highway. We leave everybody else still to die. That's it. Come, Clive. If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. Yeah, let's go fucking fight them. Oh All my right. fucking god. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. Fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once there are a lot less idiots in this world, it'd be a better place. I'm just, I'm just saying, right? Hello, sir. I want to see what she has. Anything I can interest you in? Uh, I don't know. What you got that is new. Oh, that. Is that it? Ooh. An or, excellent choice. Or it's Orchestrion. Go with Gilbert. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but they wouldn't listen. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The mm. bloody fools. Yeah, they are. Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. They're fucking idiots. But I can. Fucking if there's anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid, further. I've been looking for you everywhere. Victor, I thought you'd left. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly. You have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire. And they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There won't be no parley, no mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Huh? <laughs> Maybe it's not a bad thing. You'd like that, wouldn't you, bearer? You first. Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. You who should run! <laughs> Run, Farah! Yeah, yeah. yeah, run! Yeah. Far, yeah. far away! Yeah. 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 Just go, yeah. Give up, man. Just give up. We grab the children, we grab you, we, we grab your friends. We go to the hideaway and fuck those fuckers. That's it! Wait, someone's coming. Stop! You're hurting him! Oh, what the fuck? You fucking stupid pieces of shit. What did Lubo ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day, every day, making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever. But did Lubor ever complain? Well, does
Does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like it doesn't even exist! Lubo, we have heard enough. No! Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> so tell us. How do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. <laughs> Gather round if you don't want to die. They're still idiots. It fucking took the kids for them to realize. Like, fucking shit. Fuck them. Allow me to explain the situation. The ether flood occurred near the village of Cheratina, deep in the Velcroy. The place had been abandoned for years, until the League of Outlaws decided to make it their base of operations. Now they're all turned, and if the scouts' reports are correct, heading in this direction. They are mindless monsters, driven only by hate and rage. And they are utterly unpredictable. With the bandits, we at least knew how and where they were likely to attack. When these creatures come, Delamil will have the bitterest fight it has ever faced on its hands. The town guard will muster at the north gate. The rest of us will take the south. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers, ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic force as soon as it is spotted. And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position and see that it is driven back from Dalamil at all costs. Conrad, can I count on the support of the town guard? N yes. Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor. And the command of our men in yours, Ferda. If you would both be so kind, consider it done. As you wish. Natalie, I would ask that you and your people have the townsfolk barricade themselves inside the bathhouse. And tell the merchant not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserving life is our one and only concern. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that, let it be known that the Briar's Kiss stands ready to cover any losses. Very well. I shall tell them. Where do I fit into this plan? We fight. Where else but the most perilous place of all? I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlaws, Cheratina itself. Yeah. The main host is most likely still there, and Dalamil will not be safe until it is eradicated root and branch. A little gardening. How pleasant. <sighs> I doubt it. I have a feeling these weeds will be particularly stubborn. Luckily, so am I. So you are. All right, then. We all know what we have to do. Now it's simply a matter of doing it. For Dalamil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Finally! Fuck! These guys speak too much. Looks like everyone's ready. I'd better not keep them waiting. Nope. It's fucking go, Ambrosia. Run like the wind. Good. All right. Some more fighting. Over here. Hmm. 
This is the last one, the fort. I seem to not have the timing. Right? Oh, no. Yeah, I gotta wait a little bit longer. So basically, yeah. And I keep forgetting that. Like for the first three hits for the combo. You gotta be a little bit quicker with the triangle, but for the last one, the timing is a little bit slower. So, you know. Can't leave a single one alive. enemies more enemies how many enemies is there Oh, a big dude. What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Okay, well, I try to do the fro the the perma frost, but the timing for that is a bit hard, right? a little bit. Alright, let's just kill the motherfucker. <laughs> and a caution gentleman. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, the finish was right in the fucking kiss, huh? Oh. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm close to leveling up again. Very nice. The league is disbanded. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fared. Yes. Let's. All the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. Seems that might be the last of them. Last of them here, perhaps. Lubo, Sip, Clive has returned. Clive! What news from Charitina? It's done. Root and branch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, my lord. Friends, the Horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been defeated. And we need not fear the arrival of any more, thanks to Clive. Victory is ours. We bloody did it. Yeah. These assholes get to live another day. Allow me to apologize. After all you have done for this town, we should never have doubted you. But we did, and for that we are truly sorry. You mean to say, and we after that you're that just you truly dumbasses. We need you, Lubor. Dalimil needs you. So, if you would still like to be considered for the position of mayor, you have our backing. You do remember that I'm a bearer, don't you? 
We do. But that is not a stain on your character. It is a stain on ours. We thought only of what we perceived bearers to be, not what you truly are. The man who saved Dalimil twice over. I see. But I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. Name them. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the Town Guard and the Merchants League do not accept my leadership, it will be doomed from the start. Unity is the key to defending Dalamil, and I do not doubt that we shall need to call on our combined strength again. When that time comes, I will expect us all to pull together. Just as we did today. Of course. You have our word. And secondly... You will accept that if I am to lead you, the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other citizen. They will not be judged by what they are, but who they are. As we failed to do, and came so close to losing everything. We agree to your conditions. And we have only one in return. That you continue to work for the good of Dalimil, as you always have. <laughs> Condition accepted. <laughs> I hope. Yay! Well then. It seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. Do I get some sort of special hat? Yeah, the ones that the one that you have now. Oh, happy ending for this quest line. How fickle fate can be. Not so long ago, I had resigned myself to leaving Dalamil in disgrace. And now I find myself her leader. Here. For everything. Lubo. About the children. Fear not. You are, of course, relieved of your responsibility. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. <laughs> Come on, we're not that bad. Safe here. I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children. But everyone in Dalamel. I'll do my best. Can't have all your hard work going to waste. High five? No. We did it! High five! Come on, kids. Quest completed. Lines in the sand too. More right now. We should go to the hideaway and get that new items. Oh, the sweet, sweet level up. Oh, 47. Oh. Yeah, Bryce Kiss signboard. There you go. There it is. There it is. Displaying class chambers. We'll look at that later. Oh. Oh. Wait, impulse. Reduces impulse cooldown time by two seconds. That could be good too, right? Definitely could be good. Uh, yeah, so right now there's that. We can always travel here, grab the new stuff here, and then come here, and then travel there. But before I do that, I I know I now have enough to buy the next level of donations at the Patron's Whisper. I kind of want to do that, right? Because that, there was a talisman, I think. That is the next, uh, that was, yeah, that was the next gift. And I'm curious to see what that one does. All right. Twin sides hundreds of leagues away. I don't mean the crystal is Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, the Genji gloves. <gasps> oh, Continental Acclaim. If the drunken galley captain I shared a table with last night is to be believed, word of your explorers have made its way across the seas to the great continent. What is more, she claims there are those who would see you flourish, herself being one such woman, Garoth. Genji gloves. All yours. 
Oh, this one is what? To, oh, an orchestrian and falling enigma. Hmm, I see. Uh, however, we need like 400 something more. So, let's see here. Increase damage de dealt damage dealt to enemies by five percent. Oh, this would be all damage. All damage. Do we want increased will or increased damage to all enemies by five percent? That means everything. Everything I do deals five percent more damage. I want to try it. Let's try it. All right, let's go to the next spot, which is here. Dravos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up, bro? How you doing? Wait, where is the merchant? Am I blind? Oh, yeah, that's right. Right there. Good day. Good day, yes. Mm, quite indeed. Oh, well, this is new. Breath of Death, Darkness, Dance and Steel. Some bracelet. Wait, what? The fuck? Oh, yeah, that was weird. Just as Dance and Steel cooldown time by 4.5 seconds. That is. Oh, shit, that is. That is. Oh, that that almost almost makes me want to try Odin again. Reduces dancing still cooldown time by 4.5 seconds. That seems pretty significant. Well, I think everything like that is, but hmm. You know what? Thank you. I will buy. Maybe we meet again. Yeah, let's go. Let's go over there. Yeah, I might try Odin again. You know what? Maybe I should. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let me see here. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. And then, eh. which one? Thunderstorm? Pile drive. Wait, which one? Oh, wait. I've used some points here, too. Huh. Yeah, I don't need these. Yeah. Alright, so let's get uh, Dancing Steel. Let's upgrade Dancing Steel. Let's upgrade Arm of Darkness. And with the remaining points, yeah, I definitely want to focus on the Zintetsuken, right? I, I I prefer this one. I don't need to master it, though. So now let's go here and let's grab our Odin again. And yeah, Gundir and Dancing Steel. And yeah, right there. Oh shit! Well, this this is gonna remove my berserker ring again. Yeah, but all through these. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. I'm I'm gonna try. I, I will try this. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try this. Screw it. Fuck it. All right. Let's fucking try it. The fuck are you, Ambro Ambrosia? Oh, okay. Fly, Ambrosia. All right, let's go to the quest. Here we are again, Carava. If you were a tortoise, Togo, where would you hide? I don't know. Let's just look for a big old fucking turtle. Tor big old turtle. Big old tortoise. <laughs> Should be here somewhere, right? Somewhere in here. Oh, oh, it's right there. We found him. Fucking right, let's fucking go, bitch. 
Let's fucking go, bitch! Oh! Oh, man, he's- oh, he's tough. Oh, shit, he is fucking tough. Shit, 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 shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. My bad. Shit. Get up. All right, you know what? There you go. Fuck you. Oh, that was very little damage, though. Oh. Nice try. Yeah! <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, this... Yeah, that is very cool. Oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, the Odin is just so fucking cool. Fucking right. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, let's go, bitch. Oh, so fucking cool. Oh, so fucking cool. Oh. Oh, shit, man. I better get these materials to mid so she can finish her prototype. Oh. Oh, that fight was very satisfying. Very satisfying. Oh. All right. Now let's teleport here. Because <laughs> of 20,000 quests. It... Oh, you got some stuff too? Okay. Are you buying or selling? I don't know. What do you got? The will of darkness gun year increases gun year will damage by 30 percent oh so much so much so much i'll buy a potion i don't think i don't think i need go safely anything else but, yeah where's the door right there and there's another quest in there too from the looks of it right your grace my lord I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found the letter from father. Yes, I have it here. If you would do us the honor, my lord. My beloved sons, I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure future for our duchy and our family. And even should we succeed in subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all of Rosario striving as one might we at last overcome it. I have made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. This shall be an arduous inheritance, and so I offer you another that you might be reminded of the love and the fate that I hold for you of oh yeah that I hold both of you I miss saw that your father an inheritance it would seem the late archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing the day before we left for phoenix gate what are these plans he spoke of his plans for the duchy your grace 
Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the Burning Quill, who entrusted them in turn to me. The complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse, and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. With the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals, to see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, he would never have written this message. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you, shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Hmm. It is true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But one at least remains. And she has come bearing gifts. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering His Grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it. Or a part of it, at least. Okay. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, Your Grace. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we then? We shall! That we shall. Yes. Yes, quite indeed. But wait, no, 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 wait. Turn, turn, turn. Turn around. There's another quest now. Lord Marquis, if you have a moment. Sure. What is it, Cyril? What do you require? Brethren lately journeyed across the strait in order to pursue a new avenue of inquiry in our ongoing investigation. He sent an owl some while ago, but we have heard naught from him since. Was he surveying another fallen ruin? No. The object of his study was a savior cult that has arisen in ash in recent years. We believe it may have some connection to the Circle of Malleus. The Circle an of ancient who? religion that worshipped Ultima as its god. Oh. By gaining an understanding of this new faith, we hoped to learn more of the Circle's original beliefs. And so you sent one of your brothers to Ash? A continent teeming with orcs and Akashic. Fully cognizant of the risks, yes. I entrusted the mission to one of the most able of our order, the Third Chair, a master of the arts of combat and survival both. Though he has been silent for some days now, I have thus far refrained from sending any others in search of him, lest they be lost in turn. Yet, it seemed only right to inform you of the situation, given your unique experience of the perils of Ash. For as you so earnestly advised me, it would not do to abandon a man to his fate, when he might yet be saved. Yeah, let's go! He <sighs> would not. But Ash is a big place. Can you be any more specific? Perhaps. The last owl I received from him mentioned a village where he had heard the cult were wont to assemble. Mickelberg was its name. It lies in the southern reaches of Walud. If aught ill befell him, I expect it did so there. All right. I'll see what I can do. You are much too kind, my lord. Go then, with my hopes. And may the Firebird's flame ever burn in your heart. Duty Undying 2. Okay. Yeah, we'll get all of those done once we get to Ash. Alright. Into Walud. Okay, so what's going on here? Is that, where is there's a will? 
Okay then. Wait, wait, how do I get out? Where's the door? No, that's not a door! I can't see! If this new faith really is an offshoot of the circle of Manus, then... Let's concentrate on finding the third chair first, shall we? Hello! My lord, your grace. I that... hardly recognize you. She looks familiar. I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goditha. You have our gratitude for your service to our house. And to our father. I merely did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more? What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Nice! Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself. But it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you, as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress, but with his grace long since gone and the stone left unclaimed, I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do. Though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins, you see. We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? You are most perceptive, Your Grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. Oh, we gotta do it. What say you, Joshua? Oh, yeah. What else? There's no thinking about it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, it's right there. Joshua. Mm hmm. Ice peeled indeed. Oh, that, that's the one right there, right? Huh? Alrighty then. There it is. The House Rossfield. Shit, man. Oh, yeah. Shit. 
All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's fucking wreck this fucking guy's will. Yeah, I can't. I can't fucking dodge for shit, man. Can't fucking dodge for shit. I need it. Alright, let's go! Get fucking wrecked, fool! Oh, so much fucking damage! Like, no fucking chance, bro. No fucking chance. Gotcha. Gotcha, you fool. Oh, that permafrost. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That finish is so fucking great. Oh. Oh. What? Heartstone. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Lady Gorotha will know. Are you done talking now? Okay, let's go back. Mm hmm. Hello. Thank the founder you were safe. The griffin is slain then? Yes. And a heartstone claimed. Yes. This radiant luster, like frozen flame, it is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Yeah, we know. Lady Godetha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. Okay. Are we getting something right like right now? We're getting some great gear. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yep, great. Awesome. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together, as Phoenix and Shield, as brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. 
His Grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Goditha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewellery be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. But why not? What? To warn your father, but it was too oh, okay. Late. You tried at least. When word of the fire reached yeah. Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that His Grace's will had been recovered and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Goditha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your Grace, for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. The Founder's Grasp. Alright, let's check it out. Let's check it out. There it is. 18 more hit points, but 3 less defense. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Plus, come on, it's, 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 come on, it's our father's gift. For that difference, right, we're technically getting a 15 points increase. So, yeah. Okay. Fucking right. Oh, more quests. The bands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. I don't even see them. And we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. <laughs> if you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Sure. Let him see that you have received his blessing and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Should we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks. Before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since... Since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it. For it too is a part of your inheritance. And I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Come on, Clive. He's waiting. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go. Hot Scrack Lift. Most definitely, yes. Hmm. We'll use Ambrosia. It'll be quicker. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? Fucking right we are! Of course, to we'll overcome father's political enemies, that I'm less certain. 
Especially knowing what we know now. What Mother right. was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us, it would have made all the difference. How do I get down there? Right here? Yeah. It's just back there. You deserve a rest. Oh. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> An apparition? Apparition? Apparition! Please! Oh, chills. Oh, oh, the goosebumps! Oh, oh, that's all we needed, just a slight apparition. Oh. We got this, Faja. Lay you down. Oh, we got this. Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. Oh. This one too was good. Where there's a will. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Ah, oh, so good. Okay. Well, yeah, he was. It was already there. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what else to say about that, but you know, yeah. Okay. Um, let's. There's two quests here. Let's 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 get the, these two done, uh, and then we'll go to Bulklad. and then we'll go to Walud. Oh, you got some stuff. At least have mentioned where in Northridge he'd be testing this recruit. All right. Oh, thank you. Jeez. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to see what you got. Right there, the favor of darkness, having cloud damage now. Don't use that one though. Uh, ooh. An excellent choice. Why? Oh, uh, thank I you. Like a customer who knows what he wants. Oh, we got one and guild, fine, one, fine one guild bug. To you. The garrison is threatening to pull their sentries from the. All right, so what's going on? Okay, we got here trial and error. But let's go. Let's go grab the that quest, and then we'll. Just do both. I would speak with this Duke. Yeah, this quest line to Duke. Just now. Right? His Is he here? Your town needs you. I need you. We're gonna see the conclusion of what happens to this place, huh? Is that it? 
Do like Delamil? What is it? It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. Yep. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's do it. Thank you, Clive. What would I do without you? No idea. He told me he had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle... drastic? I don't know. Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <sighs> He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him. By all possible means. All right. Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope, I assure you. But I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy, I bid you good day. Okay. Sure. Something, something. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. It might. Which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. If he's a fucking stubborn she asshole, is. yes. This is all about her and her father. Families. I'm sorry, where were we? I don't know. Ah, yes. Sex? I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. Yeah! All right, Philippe. Where is thou? So, so I don't mind these quests, but man, they talk a lot. Hove, Please, do they talk a lot? I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help.
She cornered you too, then? Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the Dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of, uh, you know what. Kashik? They're back. Seems that way. All over, too. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what? Yes. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clyde. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Okay. Alright. So, wait, what is this one? Trial and error? Um, oh, okay, I just gotta talk to them. I'm nervous. Is it alright to be nervous? Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. And who would that be? Gav. It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since, so that one day... I can be someone's saviour, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. Yeah, good on you, kid. You have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. Yeah. So, what? Have I passed? Nope, <laughs> not yet. You haven't even started yet. <laughs> ah, now ah, listen. Ah. Oh, shit. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You will need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. Um... Is he gonna be okay? <laughs> like, are you, uh, hicking? It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. Uh, All right, Emma. Uh, Impress me. All right, is there an easier way, a quicker way to go there? Okay, let's do this one under new management, and then after that, we'll probably just teleport here and then go that way. Yeah. Oh, sounds good to me. Good girl. Faster. Mm-hmm. Damn it. All right. The reports were true. I need to stop oh, those. Get to the town.
Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh. Oh, look at that. More enemies. Okay. Oh, am I just going to catch one? Yeah. It seemed like it. And he survives, too. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, the rock! No, the rock was in the way! Oh, that's annoying. That's okay. Oh, oh, I need to kill those things first, though. Most definitely. Test Ultima. Clive, it's me. Are you alright? Yeah. I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, that's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. Now, you head back to Northridge. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople, stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. Dame. What? This is exactly what the dame was afraid of. Yeah. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Yeah, well, we'll try. That's uh, that's as best as we can do. Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things, and I'm running back to town, screaming blue murder. Sure. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, I guess we're finishing this quest line. Do you not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. But now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. Sure, fucker. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore! Oh, those are fighting words! You filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted! Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. 
At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a brandit. <gasps> Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Clive! I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. God, is oh, fuck. There's no work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Cair Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame? While we wait, no. oh. to the gates, archers to the roof. Oh, he, he must be, he must feel insulted. Good, good. Fucking. But she is but a common. Oh. Whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. Fucking right. Let's fucking go. That's what happens when you don't judge people. You look at them for their character. So what? She likes to have sex. That's what I assume. The men have their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, my lady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I've fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. All right, but take care. Thank you, both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. Alright. Alright, all right. oh, okay, just there. Alright then. Captain said to bring our Let's wounded. fucking go! Man, I still appreciate the music, and you hear like all the music from like the original Final Fantasies. Oh, like in this one, there are songs like that. There are songs from the original Final Fantasy. I hear songs from eight, twelve, uh, Temple of the Ancients from seven. There's one part that I hear it. You know, there are so many of them. Yeah, they are. Not for long. You know what we do with that? We do this. Yeah, we just get our Zentetsukin all the way up. All right. And then we do this. Alright. 
Where's the other ones? Nope. No. It's only just begun. Oh shit! Fucking right. Fuck you! Oh, oh. Okay, wait. Let me try this again. Fuck you! Piece of shit. Stagger him. There we go. Alright, so now we do this. And then we do this. And then we do this, and then we do this. Oh. And then we do this. Oh. And then we finish it with a good old Zen Zentetsukin, right? Level three should be good enough, right? Oh. Yeah! Holy shit! 138,000 stagger damage! That is definitely a non... a non icon. PB. Oh, yeah. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. All dead. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. Everybody dead. Where's Joshua? Clive, it's good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. Yes. And I was wrong. About everything. You just gotta work on your leadership, I bro. I thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of empire. Yeah. Uh, yes and no. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. <sighs> but you brought them together. Exactly. Not by force. Nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority. No. But by simply being one of them. Exactly. By knowing what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, your eminence. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory, while our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that, and I am sorry. Wow, he can be humble, though. I'm sorry, too. That's good. That's good. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all of you. Your eminence. Your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, 
but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. If only I'd listened to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, my lady, but you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We just have to work together. And that goes for you, too. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, but for us. Well, since there's nothing more to be done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. Yeah, I like that. Can we get you anything? I definitely like that. That he learned, was humble enough to realize he was wrong, was not afraid to say he was wrong. And it, it, it is true, right? You, you, you still need a like. If you don't have a country, and all you have is a lot of little places, well, all that you have then is just, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just chaos, right? That's not the word I'm looking for, though. Not chaos, but anar anarchy or something like that. So you still you you still need your country. But what brings people together is value and vision. And you just need to understand each other, right? You might see a different a, a way, like meet people halfway, right? Yes, he will have a lot of power. He needs to have a lot of power. He needs to be able to have authority on the country and rebuild the country. That takes a lot. And, you know, like, yeah, sure, he'll get riches for... That's a lot of work. But you got to think about also the smaller pictures. Like she, like Isabel was saying, just culture at home. The culture at one village might be slightly different than the culture at another place. And you have to really... You got to appreciate that. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm. But I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. But do you? <laughs> Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard, the gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to, we wandered, aimless and starving, half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here, in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. 
those that could be healed at least. My love was already too far gone. He passed away? He did. Not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. The power of community. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt to the Vale. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter. All united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Always. <laughs> See? Very nice. Oh. Oh. Oh! We got one of them! Ah, oh, shit! So, not hunts then. Quests! Oh, we might be able to get the legendary weapon. We quest and not hunts. Okay. I'll take that. All right, come on, Ambrosia. We gotta go fast. Fly, Ambrosia. Oh, yeah. I, I said it multiple times. I'm gonna say it again. This game really knows how to be sentimental. It's very good. Very good storytelling. Very good way to feel empathy or sympathy towards characters. They haven't been able to do this to me in a He's long kills. Perhaps young Ember really is ready. Hmm. Ah! Or maybe not. <laughs> I was just gonna say, or maybe not. Ah! Oh, Clive! Get out of my head! Damn it. Oh. Ember, draw your sword! Oh God. Why not? You idiot! Run! Uh, um. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Oh shit! He's scared. Shit, literally, yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, you know what? I I wasn't sure about owning the star, but fuck, I'm, I'm, ooh, whoo, I am loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. Ember, are you? Yeah, I think he pissed his pants. Gone. Of course. 
Scouts really are a rare breed. <sighs> a rare breed. <laughs> to Northreach it is then. A rare breed. Ooh, but look at that. We got a piece of candy here, though. Wait, what? The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It increases down thrust. Oh, no, fuck that shit. Man, we get so much different shit, right? Like, is it even worth it? Like, fuck it. Ah! Jeez, travel! Like those accessories the garrison said they take are pro Wait, is that a treasure right there? Those whites will think twice. <laughs> um, uh, yoink! I'm sorry. I didn't. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, like something like that for 10%. You probably only want to use it for moves that you like you do a lot, right? You do often and shit. So, right? Because right now, what do I have? Yeah, see, increase. The oh, yeah. Damage dealt to enemies by 5%. Like, that's all damage. Any kind of damage I do is 5%. Not just, like, yeah, why the fuck you get the other ones? Why would you ever use the other ones? I don't know. Anyways. I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I don't know. I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but apparently not. Oh, I'm sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. Did he do it on purpose? I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. How did you... Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you there, Nazaire. And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. Yes, Sergeant. Failed. This won't be an easy decision. Nah, like, uh, so. Hmm. We'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do all, like, turn in all in a bunch once we get back there, right? But in my opinion, he failed. Because if we were not there, he would have not even tried to defend himself. Like, he would have not even draw, like, drew his sword, right? You won't find a finer array That's... Side of the strait. That, to me, is failure. Many thanks. Because he would have died. All right. All right, where's the, uh, where's the quest? Oh, all the way up there. Okay. All right, well, over there we shall go. Too? But yeah, like... If he would at least drew his sword and try to defend himself. But yeah. if we make him into a scout... Oh, and then... Scared? That happens again. He's dead. He's not even willing to defend himself. He, he just froze there. Like... Come on. So he better have a very good explanation of why he did it. Right? Or else I, I fail him. Fuck that shit. That can't be Rutherford, can it? Turncoats and cowards, the lot of you! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! What's happening here? Calm your tits, Allow bro. Me. I don't need your... Please, uh, Field Marshal. Oblige him. This won't take long. Ha <laughs> ha You're right. It won't. Y'all about to get... Men. 
finish him. You're all about to get fucking wrecked. I could have just ended in point five seconds instead of what point five seconds. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Fucking traitors! I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths they swore. But I hadn't thought the corruption had reached so close to the heart of the Republic. It's a fucking disgrace. Fucking right! Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. My Lord Marquis. Or is Sid the outlaw more to your liking? Call me what you want. It doesn't change who I am. Or the urgency of the message I bring. My uncle has a plan to right the realm. And he needs your help to see it through. Before I agree to anything, I'd have you answer one question. What do you stand to gain from all this? Absolutely nothing. A better future for everyone. I won't deny that I might benefit from further chaos. But I seek a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones. I know I made them for the right reasons. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live, how we could die, when it should have been our decision all along. Now we have a chance to put things right. But in order to take it, we must stand together, even if it be beside those with whom we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. But perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. I'll never hear the end of this. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to bring the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore order in their own territory. Thank you, Field Marshal. Good shit. But they are not the only ones we will need to convince. What do you mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals, but those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. And when it comes to honeyed words... We will need an envoy. One who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. You, perhaps. I'm flattered. But I'm no diplomat either. And I have other problems to attend to. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. And I may know just the person. Is that so? And would he happen to be an outlaw too? Of a different kind, perhaps. Well... Beggars can't be choosers. I suppose we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw in ourselves if we're to make it through this. Very well. Send your man to me right away. I shall. Uh, my lord Marquis. Your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to his manor in Port Isolde. And I will see that my associate joins you there. Very good, my lord. Huh. An envoy. I'm not sure I'm the man to talk anyone round. 
Uh, barely convince my brother to take his medicine. No. This is a job for someone with experience. Uncle. Someone like Quinton. I hope I can convince him at least. Oh. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Not only that, we had to go up there to North Reach anyways, right? Well, not North Reach, but um, Lost Wing. Yeah. Okie dokie then. Where to? Right there, right? Or anywhere else? Uh, give me a sec here. Give me a moment here. Duty, no, a non convenient trial, aiming high. Speed, yeah, speed with Quinton. Yeah, three's company. Oh, okay, that, that is the one, right? Brittany. Okay, so I guess the other quests available are basically just um to get picked up here. Not to haven't started yet. Yeah, I wonder how much how they're faring up here now. All right. Man, I remember the first times coming here. Oh man, this game. I'm gonna want to play this game over and over and over again. That'll do, girl. Quinton, I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. Mm, you need one for five pie for that. a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so am I. And why might that be? What he's asking. How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about. We'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves. And if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. Nice. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Yeah. But we need, uh, we... I thought there was another quest here, perhaps? Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, there was only that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought, um, yeah, for some reason I thought that perhaps there was a quest here that we could grab. I thought I, I just didn't see it properly okay well in that case then we have uh, these three locations left and these three locations we shall do yes all right so where is oh right here oh that's the place oh that's the place that was locked earlier 
Oh, very nice. All right, let's go do that then. Good shit. Oh, oh, oh. Straight home now. Might this be Mickleburg? Yes. All right, are we ready? Oh. What the? Hello? These people aren't turned. No, they're not. What's going on? The village seems safe enough at least. What is going on here? Ah. Did you too heed the call? Heed the call? Yeah, what are you no, talking about? I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others... they... they heeded the call. You keep saying that. <sighs> What do you mean? Yeah. They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. What rite? This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Ah, oh, come on. Give themselves. No, they're going to turn to Kashik. Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. God damn it. Get up! Stop! Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me, but did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from Stone? Yes. He's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. Mm. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <sighs> at least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Yeah. Yeah, we can go find him, all right. What? Nice. Yeah. God damn people. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, this music, yeah, makes things uh, seem like everything gonna be creepy, right? So he must be, in, yeah, so he's in that house, but there was, oh, there's nothing else. We just go into that house. Is it gonna be something kind of like stupid or creepy? Like we go in and he's freaking murdered or something? No, okay, no way. Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill, much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? 
devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... tis different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? Oh. I do, my lord. Um... They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Yeah, they were, on the, them, my lord. they were on the altar. Right? Something is happening. I'll go find out what. Stay here. Yeah, they were on those platforms, right? Platform elevator thingies. That we keep seeing the big ruins. I assume a big ol' something something... ...is about to pop out, right? Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Okay, well. Ready, brother? Yeah, I am. Ready. Beast. We're gonna see a big old beast. Gonna be a big motherfucker. It's a big motherfucker. It's a. Uh, we meet again. What oh, is it? Oh, tight. Oh! I've killed your kind before. Is it the same? No, it's not the same. No, the other one was like Thanatos, or I don't remember. I don't remember that. Bye, bro. Oh, you did damage me though. Like an asshole you are. Pretty good on those, right? Yeah, the more enemies there is, the higher that this goes up, though. Oh shit. 
ready then. I think we got him. I think we got him. Pretty sure we got him here. Yep. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, oh, look at that judgment bolt. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice indeed. Still not what I need. <sighs> not done yet. Oh no, they're gonna turn to Kashik now. <laughs> what? What's happening? Come on. Damn it. Really? Really? Don't you die? Come on, speak to me. No, you're dead. You're an idiot. You're a fool. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their lord just as i did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in a duty to serve was everything to me and I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become a Kashik in order to achieve it. Oh. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? For someone who's got a sword through him. He's speaking quite well. We done? Ah, look, my lord. They are saved. Fucking idiot. That's not salvation, man. That's desperation. Like, you're getting rid of all of your will. Everything. Life isn't that bad, come on. Fucking shit. Oh, now we're back here. <laughs> I should get this report to Cyril. Yeah, since we uh, we were forced to come here right away, right? So, might as well. The bro, Broski. My lord Marquis, welcome back. Yep. I'm glad to see you hale and whole. Yep. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Yeah. It's not great. Thank you, my lord. It's not great. He remained in Ash. He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. It's not liberty. Yeah. <sighs> For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. 
a noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. There's gotta be a fine line somewhere, right? But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right? I believe... that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> All right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Yeah! Duty Undying 2. Look at that renown, though. Hmm. Ooh, the Clay Heart signboard, but also the other Orichalcum, 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 something like that that we needed. Well then, I will respect your decisions, nor do I, I don't, I don't quite agree with your methods of living. By all means, quite right. A world where you can live and die on your own terms. I'll, I'll, I'll respect at least that. I don't agree with them. Jesus. All right, so where's... um? Oh, everywhere. All right, let's go do this one first. All right. Doris is waiting for me near Belmont Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. Yep, but first we go and do this. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Okie dokie. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer. Locked up tight. Hmm. Have care. Uh. Yeah, let's just destroy everything. Here? I know I'm supposed to look down, right? 
I'm supposed to go down. Oh, okay. Yeah, let, let's just do go down then. Lie. This is th this move sure makes it very easy, right? Recommendation concerning Kuza B's deployment: The Kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it was hoped that in success that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. In exercises conducted thus far, however, the bees have proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants. As such, deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed and said that bearer captives be deployed in order to draw enemy focus and the beast then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit with minimal loss of looter lives. Fucking fuckers. Minimal loss of looter yeah. lives. <laughs> exactly. Oh. What happens when they run out of bearers? Fucking idiots. Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Yeah, this is fucking... Still fucked up. Still very fucked up. Alright. What is that? What is this? Another piece of paper, eh? Memorandum on Kuza B's feeding. Recent supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bearers assigned to fight beside it in the mock battle conducted as part of its training. The bees was further observed to enter a state of physical contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bearers may be may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bears no longer for use of for training purposes cannot be repurposed as required. They were feeding bears to it. This is even worse than I feared. Oh, this is still next fucking level fucked up. Alright, well I guess we gotta go up now, because I don't know where else I need to fucking go. What's up, bros? How are y'all doing? Have a good time? Kill those ones. The fuck? Uh, hilarious. Hilarious shit right there. Oh, something here. The box. Box full of shit. That's what's in here. What up? Are you guys ready to party? Oh, you fucker. Fuck you. How dare you stop me from using my moves? There you go. I'll save that Zentitsukin for the next battle. Alright. Well, I knew that was going to take quite a while to finish all of these side quests, though. Oh, Dildos. No sign of any bearers yet. 
I hope you have better luck downstairs. I did go downstairs though. Was I lost? Am I not going the right way? Perhaps not. Down there, yes. How do I get down there? There's no maps, right? I didn't see any maps. Can I open those doors? Right here? No, doesn't seem like it. Let me see here. So I can't go that way. These are the stairs to go up. How do we go down? Not here. Oh, right here? Oh, what's that? This is the ground floor though, right? Balmung Dark, right? Right of designation, the Kingdom of Alud hereby designates this facility a prison for the de detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train Akuza bees for deployment in the field. The aforementioned purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be pu is to be punishable by death. Wow. Captive bearers have been provided solely for the per per personal of the aforementioned purpose, express permission is required for, for use of bearers in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison. No. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Oh, it's still here. It's it's definitely still nothing but a cashic down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Well now I have to go up. Okay. That's fine. We shall go then. Hello, Doris. Long time no see. No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? I would, I believe it. Yes, this world is pretty yeah, fucking fucked. So, yeah, it's fucked up. Masters, but this, this is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits, and all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children, even. Yeah, fucked up. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. Who's a beast? I'm afraid. It means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Oh, it's the other door. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here. Then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Damn. We are getting pretty close to, um... Finish all the side quests, though. I think, hopefully. There it is. Let's go. Let's see what we can find down here. Let's fucking go. Murder and chaos. Mm, okay. That's cool. That is cool. Oh shit. Oh shit, there's people alive? A survivor. She sounds close. Oh fucking right. Oh fucking. 
Who are you? Wow, trauma. There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. Oh, of course they were. Thank the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadrick send you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? You wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer eating bastard in the ground. Oh, fuck, man. Poor girl. We have to it's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. How do we get there? What's here? No. Let me just look real quickly. No. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, that's like a fucking behemoth. Oh shit. Um Ooh. This might be t I don't know. I have a gut feeling that this is going to be a tough fight. Um Hmm, I think for this then I probably want to switch to Titan. What other move would I want with Titan? The satellite, maybe? Lost a stagger. How long does it last? Does it last long? I think I would rather want, like, more protection. Like, maybe, like, Rook's Gambit so I can dodge and shit? No, that... I don't really need that though. Wind up? Nah. No, what do I, what would I want? Not lightning rod. I don't think I need rooks. You know what? Maybe this might be one for Will of the Wisp. Okay, so let's equip raging fists and Will of the Wisps. I don't know. Let's try this. Let's try this. But how do how do I how the fuck do I get there? Right here? No? Am I dumb or blind or something? Oh, and if that is the case, that's right. I don't I don't need this one. What do I want instead? Let's sort them. Berserker ring. Maybe I want more defense? Like defense plus 30? I might I might need that. I think so. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Crips and tassels might be good too, but I don't think I need that. Yeah. I need to try to find a way that I can get in through there, right? Can I get up there from... Oh! Ah! Of course! Okay, well... Let's fucking go then, I guess.
It's a hunt. It's considered a hunt. Okay. All right, let's just, he's air rank, so let's just fucking try it, right? Ah, oh, shit, where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, there it is, fucking right, let's go. Let's fucking go. Alright, I'm doing I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I thought this would have been much worse, but You piece of shit. Oh, fucking right. All right. So, not as hard as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> not as fucking hard as I thought it was going to be. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm good. I'm fine. I think. Yeah, you might not like what you find there, though. Oh. Oh, no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Yeah, he, he deserves it. Chadwick. You fool. Ah, uh, that's... Uh, th th that's, to um... Back to the hideaway. Very... We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. Yeah, that's very no. heroic of him. Of course not. Just have a proper memorial. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Good on you. Holy fuck, man. Like, since almost the beginning, we know how rough Beerus has got it. And it's it's just it still hits me hard. Because it's just fucking ridiculous, right? From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. It's been days. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. 
But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Exactly. Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Fucking right. Fucking right. Oh, it's starting to get a bit dark here. The breath of darkness, Gunnier. Oh, okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, considering we are at the hideaway, I I'm just gonna. God fucking damn it! God, no, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. Oh, I know I said, okay, I want some more of this game. Yeah, sure. But like, fucking shit. I need to finish this game. There's more, newer hunts. Oh, fuck. Where is it right here? S rank. A rank. A rank. All right, let me, let me take notes of these. All right, let's turn in the quest. You should have seen him. The thing didn't stand a chance. Welcome back, Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yes. Welcome back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. Nope. No, they most certainly did not. He fucked up. Nope. Fuck when no! Faced with an unexpected foe, Ember froze. He did not run. He did not fight. Had I not been there, he would be dead. It would be too great a risk to send him out on a mission alone. Thank you, Sid, for your honest appraisal. Sorry, bro. Ember, you braved the tower and emerged unscathed. Yes, but only because Sid saved your skin. To me, that's no better than being caught red-handed. You failed the test. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade. And any mind can conquer its fears. Exactly, he's just not ready to, to be by himself right now. Different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conk and a half. Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. Just fight little monsters. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. Yeah, just fight little things. Get better and you. better. Just you wait. And don't be as afraid. Fight back. Delft as a brush there, huh? But his heart's in the right place. Yep. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. Gather. Yeah, that time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Yeah. Couldn't hurt. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. <laughs> Next thing you know. He'd be asking for a day off. Lols. Yeah. Charms would be a fine thing. Back to work. 
Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. But well, we didn't know what to expect. Things really do these days. You try, he failed. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. Well, that's complete. Trial and error. I'll try. Okay. Hey, Byron. Uncle, I bring good news. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter's Older as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution, and I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his, but yes. Another outlaw, then? Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle, assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was more of a handful. Yeah. Well, the old battle axe was so pleased she had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. Nice. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Good shit. Now, I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Yeah, after we course, uh, fucking uncle. kill Ultima. It'll be our celebration post-victory. Most definitely. Oh. Never mind! We shall go immediately! Cause... And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? You'll find another bloody road! I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen, perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Oh my god. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? How... How dare you! You are not fit to breathe the same air as this fine, upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw! <laughs> Once more unto the breach. <laughs> Clive shaking his head in the background. Oh, good, good shit. 
Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes, and I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves, then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands, but the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, my quill. You gotta love Byron's quest lines. Pretty good. Well, my boy, the stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities, that you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. And there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. Good shit. Very nice. Good stuff. All right. What's up, Gav? Oh, you all right? Yep. Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just... Yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. Yeah, I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like... So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. And I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Yeah, let's help him. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Fucking do it! You know, there just might be. All right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm. But not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No. One made from the feather of a silver chocobo. <laughs> There's not luck in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their suppliers, but nothing. I'd try and track one down myself, only... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need, a feather. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to, aye. I was going to start by asking around with travelling traders plying the northern borders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. All right. Oakley Dokley. All right, well, we got some more quests up in my fucking chambers, yo. Oh, that, oh, that is a lot. No uh, thanks, my Lord Marquess. I write to thank you for the kind consideration you have shown for those whose names are written within the pages of the Book of Martyrs. I know that it would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the Phoenix laments their passing. 
Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in service of the Phoenix, I do not doubt that those who are taken before their time go with regret for the long years of duty left undone. That they should live on in the memory of a proud son of House Rossville such as yourself shall surely go some way to soothing the sorrows. May the Phoenix's flames burn ever in your heart. Cyril, bear of the burning quill. That which conquers all. Here, not a long remove from when you last placed yourself between us and peril, I sit and pen yet an another letter in which I try to find the words to somehow express the gratitude of an entire town. Still, something feels different about our latest triumph. For the past, we leaned ever so heavily upon your good graces. This time, we found strength elsewhere, in ourselves. Our heart should has shown us that which should have been apparent all along we are not as different as we want to believe does a peasant love his homeland any less than a noble does a bear love his family any less than another man does his own it is this love that has united us and giving us true th strength should every thrall the cache bandit and brigand in the realm come charging our gates we will not fret we will not falter we will fight, and we will win. Isabel. The wages of fate. Do you remember what you told me that night at Phoenix Gate? That while the fate of Rosario sits on my shoulders, the fate of its dominant sits upon yours. But are we not both dominus of fire? Does not the flame of our forebears burn in both our hearts? Should I not protect you as you have protected me? You have chosen to be my shield. Now let me choose to be yours. Is this not what our father wanted? What Sid wanted? To cast aside fate and forge our own path? Grant me this, Clive. Let me be your strength. Joshua. Fucking right. My beloved sons, I know that I asked much of you in this coming war. Oh, we read this already. A new day. I am not so foolish to believe that a single shaming at the hands of the town urchins can dispel a lifetime of hatred built up in one's heart, just as a pot cannot be made clean by reminding it of its grime. It takes effort, persistence, and more often than not, a stiff brush and a bucket of lye. But more than that, it takes time. Fortunately, your courage and leadership has granted us just that. We must now decide whether to embrace or to waste it. A wise man said, a wise man once said, the night is always darkest before dawn. It is a good thing. My French came out there. It is a good thing <laughs> that I count one who burns so bright amongst my friends. Luber. Fine how. The two of you have been together for what probably feels like a lifetime now, but there is still a lot you have to learn about that hound of yours. I. You step in front of a bloody raging behemoth if it meant protecting you, but that don't mean you should take it for granted. At the end of the day, he's a hound, and sometimes he just wants someone to pat his head and rub his belly and gives him a handful of cupo nuts. You do good to remember that. Karen. Yeah. So now, concern for Jill. Okay. Though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart, and we would be poor friends indeed if we not seek to lighten that burden. Even but only a fraction, before we depart for the skies, I would speak on this more in private. Joshua. Yeah. Let's go. If Joshua was worried about Jill... I should go and speak with him. Yeah. 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 You know, there's a reasons. Joshua, I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I've felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her now more than ever that you still need her but how to do that when last we were truly close we were but children of course do you remember the time we accompanied father on his annual tour of the duchy 
And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Yeah, to see the snow daisies, I remember. Oh, we're gonna get some daisies now. First time father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in Southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? Oh, yeah. Go get Jill some flowers. Hmm. All right, mid. I got your stuff. I got what you need. Mid, tell me this is all you need. You make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. <laughs> Tell me, this is all you need. <laughs> it's most of what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <sighs> and? And a cogwheel. Just a tiny one, though that's the problem. Gears that small are a bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Oh! The children. When they took apart your scales, there was a tiny brass gear. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back together. The young'uns? But why would the... You know what? I don't want to know. I'll keep working on the model. You go and find that car. No, oh, I gotta go. Okay, fine, whatever. Jeez. Let's go talk to the children. Oh. Has Midadol mentioned a new project yet? Hello, engineers. Exactly. Sid, is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's fine. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? What is it? What is it? Is it an airship? I bet it's an airship! Of course it is an airship! You think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, something only you three can provide. A brass gear. A tiny one. One that might fit on, say, a set of scales? Oh, the one you forgot! We remember! We saved it, just in case. It's in the bag of bits. Mmm, it's a bit and bites. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything we can find. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds, just in case. And that's how you do that's create engineers. Good to know. You become curious of how things Look. work, how you put things together. It's good shit. I found it. Thank you. Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for now. But I'll let Mid know about your... Horde. Just in case. Thanks, Sid. Oh, I've been playing for quite a while now. I'm trying to finish this game. But I want to do everything with this game. Including the side quests. Very important. And the hunts. Well? Did they have it? Yes. And more. They did, and they kept it somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? Will it work? He's perfect! You're a genius, Clive. What exactly are you going to use it for? Airship! Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own, but with the right cog in the right place? Well, you just wait and see. Should do her. It. 
There goes nothing. <sighs> Titan's tits. Ah! You got some pretty massive muscular tits, doesn't he? Of course, it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. Honestly, these bloody engines are driving me mad. I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But... Maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. No! Don't think that way! Mid! Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes. <sighs> children, their mums and their dads. Yeah, yeah. That is true. Like I lost mine. Fucking bomber ships. Airships. I'm sorry. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head? Or do I follow my heart? Heart. Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying. But imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. And ours too. Right. Let's fucking go. Over, I'm gonna take all my Mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. But all that hard work. All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive, have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ah, we didn't been going on church hunts all the time. The engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one, so that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one, yeah. <laughs> huh. Right. I was sure we we're going to get an airship, which would have been kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been kind of cool. Of course. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. Quest complete. Aiming high. Hmm. Oh man, we're also we're close to reaching level airship. <laughs> nice. We're close to level up again to get to reach level forty-eight. Hmm. Oh. Any more quests here? No, we're all done here. We are all done here, and I forgot how much points we need for the patience whisper. Let me go check again. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Oh, we need a hundred more. Come again. Okay. I may have more for you. One, only a hundred more. It's not bad. 
That is not bad at all. All right, so there's a couple of places we can go. We can go to Hot Sky Cliff. We can go to Martha's Rest. Or we can go finish these ones. All right. I think I'm going to go do these ones because we might see the other hunts as well. All right. Because there's one. Oh, the, the two hunts are in same break. Oh, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, let's do Martha's Rest then for now, I think. Perhaps. Right? Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> A silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. Though you're not the first to mention the bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Oh. Near some guide hovel, not far from Eastpool. Okay. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. Hopefully. We'll see. Thank you. Are we just going to pluck it from the bird, or are we going to just kill it? Seems like very, uh, if we got to kill it, it, uh, it almost feels like it's going to be, uh... Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean we have to. A bit excessive, just for a feather. Let's get this stuff. How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone? Or perhaps a bawdy etching of a vicerine? No idea what that is. Uh, maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are there more merchants here? No, uh, they're gonna be everywhere. We we'll just walk around town. It doesn't still hurt. Making my way around town, looking fast. Something, some. I don't know the song, but I'm looking for merchants. Oh, right there. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after. I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. Okay. A silver chocobo. Yeah, let's go. That'll be the quickest way. D don't Sighted matter. in the hills near Rhiannon's ride. Don't matter. It sounds almost too good to be true. But, since I'm already here. But, yes. Of course, the game is gonna make it very. Ready, go. Can hardly make you a plummet thing. I lost my thought. Convenient. Oh, jeez, I was looking for a word. Convenient. Doesn't that happen? Does anybody out there that speaks multiple languages just just randomly will forget the word you're looking for? Like, all the time. It's annoying. That's what it is. Oh, I remember going to this little village here. Left by bandits for a change. Yeah, I remember checking out here. I was like, no. Because I was looking you for a hunt. A rest. But obviously, this was a place for a hunt. But not a hunt, but a, a quest, right? Chocobo tracks. Looks like you've been stomping there. More tracks. And these look fresh. A chocobo was here, and recently, perhaps it still is. Yeah. Yeah, let's just pluck a feather, right? I don't hear anything. Yeah. Oh, yay! Oh, we don't have to kill it. We just get the feather. Yay! Well, I'll be damned.
I hope it's friendly. <laughs> Oh, two of them. Almost like Ambrosia. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. Very nice. I'm happy. Thank you. Let's get this back to Gav before they change their minds. Yeah, very happy. Very happy that we don't need to fight them. All right, let's go get some flowers for Jill. Hopefully there's still flowers, but you know. You know. Around here somewhere, I don't know. my way fool all right with all these burning f flames around me oh wait where was it this way yeah with all these f burning flames around me let's go pick some flowers oh geez it was it literally was just like right here right what but where where do i oh <gasps> there's a little entrance here oh there is we've never been here before oh um, is that normal? This is the place, but... Yeah, they did. Wait, there's gonna be one. I'm sorry, Clive. There's gonna be at least one, right? One survived. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? I don't know. Take out your phone. We keep looking. Take a selfie. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. And then... Like, Perhaps, we're like, hey, remember this place? It's right. the only place I know of. You of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard. To the hideaway, then. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. It never ends. It never ends. Oh. All right, well, let's go. Yeah. I'm pro I might just do the hunts at the start of the next video, though. Like, we'll do the hunts and then let's hope one of the try to finish the game. Find snow daisies. It was no trouble. At Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? They are lucky. Crystal's crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Not really. <laughs> Very short. <laughs> Went Martha's rest. Went to a little Ben Shack. Found a feather. That's it. Uh. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there has been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on East Pool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long, even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is <laughs> you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. Nice! <laughs> Don't speak too soon. 
I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll pass soon. Very nice. What do you think? Very nice. I think I if want you one. ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Huh, you can give it to yourself. Come on. Ugh. Uh, let's go that way first. Hmm. Hello. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Yeah. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Preferably. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go then. But first, we go talk to Gavigan. Or oh, Edda. Why, hello there. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh, yeah, it has a on. crush on you. Please. That's what's going on. Beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good look charm. We may come up north when a band's on the way. I, I, I mean a, a baby. To let them know that they're part of the family too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, oh, Clive. Fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. Gav, you big softy. Don't you think you've had enough? No, oh, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. It wasn't long after me tenth name day, my mum told us she was with child again. I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. I thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink. 
while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Why? What happened? Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. Fuck off! I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. Shut the fuck up, Gav. Punch him! Like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. Clyde, punch him! Punch him! Push some sense into him! Have you finished? Maybe. Do you know why you're our best scout? Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Yeah. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... <gasps> that was only the once. Exactly. You learned from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. That's a good callback. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Exactly. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. <sighs> Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and your sword. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> nice. Fucking right. I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Better get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know. I know. That was nice. Oh, we get the level up too. Oh, we get the level up. Oh, look at that. I said I was thirsty. <laughs> you are a good guy, Gav. We'll look at these later. Because, you know. All right, let's go back to North Reach. But you know what? We'll go in the next video because this one is getting pretty long at this point as well. So I'm going to try to do everything I can in the next one as well. But, you know, I'll see you then. Sweat up. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.